So we're living in the greatest era the world has ever known. But a single question must be asked, even if this is true. So what? I will show you in this series the factors. I'll show you why it's true that we now have, as individual human beings, we now have greater individual potential energy, potential for achievement, potential for action, potential for influence than ever before in the history of the globe. The question, so what, is something you have to ask, something you have to answer. But I intend to show you what's up with this when I ask you to join this conversation. Briefly recapping this concept of potential energy, if we look back through the course of human history, if we can imagine that it is a waveform, that we have high points, high watermarks of human consciousness, we have different times in history, the Renaissance, the Greek era, some times in the Far East and other places, where human consciousness reached these great high points. Think of the Egyptians, and their pyramids and all the development of science. Many times throughout history, feel free to add in along this, but many times there have been these high points and during these periods of time, individuals had greater potential because of what was going on, because they were being lifted by this wave. We talked about this last video. So just to show you this picture here, this potential energy when it gets released, so when the individual molecules, the human beings, particles if you will, as the wave crests and starts to move the other direction, the energy becomes transformed from potential into kinetic. So this is where the power, this is where the release happens, where people actually step into their power, where they feel it. All right, so we're going to talk about this, but at the moment I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the factors, these elements which have been tossed into the global blender, which make this time on Earth like none other before. And as I said, this will be one of several segments, so today is just a brief overview. Let's take a look. In the conspiracy of factors, we have this shared feeling that something's up. We have this psychic or collective sense of looming change. And this shows up for a lot of people as anxiety, sometimes depression because they don't feel like they're in control of their, in the control of their lives anymore. There's also a lot of erratic behavior. And we look at things that happen, we see things on the news, we wonder, why would they do that? That didn't make sense at all. There's also increased activity and interest in spirituality and end of the world scenarios. We hear a lot about this. There's also vastly increased creative output. We're going to talk about this as we go. The three major pillars, though, of the, the three major elements, these conspiracy of factors, we have the explosion of technology, we have the explosion of population, we have the erosion of the major pillars of power, government, business, and religion. It's hard to say exactly which caused the other, isn't it? It's kind of a chicken or the egg question. We'll talk more about the progression and how they relate to each other and how they're going back and forth and how the, they are actually increasing each other's momentum, this whole change. We're also going to look at how we've shrunk the globe with our communication, how we can travel so much more quickly and we can move goods and products around the world so much more quickly and money has a great velocity now and much more. Also intend to look at the explosion of creativity and technology in books, literature, music, film, and the forms of new media, social media, the ways we're connecting with each other, science, medicine, and the speed of transfer which makes it all so possible, which increases the mom momentum and the intensity. And as we go, as you help me with this conversation, we're going to ask and continue to answer the question, so what? What does this require of me? Why is this important for me to think about? Thanks for watching. We'll talk with you soon.